Uh, for the last 10 years, America and the free world have invested vast amounts of resources and human lives in fighting forces of extremism and oppression. And during that same period, uh, the forces of extremism and oppression have grown in strength, uh, and we've seen a disaster for human rights around the world, uh, with human rights going backwards in many regions. Um, that's because a focus on terrorist movements is really only a focus on the symptoms of the problem. And any medical professional will tell you that if you only medicate the symptoms, you never cure the underlying disease. Uh, the solution to the disease of extremism and oppression is to spread the inspiring principles of human rights and freedom to the minds and hearts of the next generation. Uh, we call them digital natives, young people who've never known life without the internet. The good news is that in the digital age, uh, the digital natives, the future leaders of the world, are accessible through the internet, through digital media, in most countries, in virtually every part of the world. Their hearts and their minds are open to the timeless and inspiring principles of freedom and democracy and human rights. So it's possible to reach them. It's possible to uh, inspire them with the good and inoculate them against evil and against the ideologies of oppression that are threatening freedom in our world today. Uh, this course looks at the intersection of human rights and national security and international security. We examine the significance of human rights for foreign policy, for international affairs, and for statecraft. Now, if you know and understand that ideas matter, and that in the information age, information is power, if you know and understand that uh, the battle against extremism is more than simply a battle that is military in nature, then you will understand why this course is valuable, and you can probably profit from it.